Aries, welcome back to my tarot channel. This is going to be a message where we let the energy just flow and let your spirit guides speak. Let's jump straight into it. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements as well, if you are wondering. And I welcome the cross watchers, okay? And if you want to cross watch other signs of, that you may have in terms of other placements, uh, definitely check out your Venus, Moon, rising placements okay but let's get into it aries what are the messages meant to find you any information that you need will be listed in the description okay if you want to book me for any of my services you want to work with me uh if you want to follow me on twitter patreon all those places will be listed below but first card we have is the knight of cups so first message that's meant to find you at this moment is Pretty much that your spirit guides have been already speaking to you. A lot of my Aries, you have been either a developing a better relationship with your spirit team out of either being forced to or you just naturally stumbling across synchronicities, uh, having downloads via dreams. It feels like your spirit guides have been speaking to you guys, have been actually shouting at some of you as well when it comes to moving beyond the disruptive emotions you could be feeling now and wanting you to focus on the bigger picture so uh the, the main thing i'm picking up with this card spirit wants you to look at the bigger picture yes there could be moments where emotionally you get tripped up okay you're waiting for opportunities to flow into your life and it's a matter of you needing to put yourself in position to receive as well you have to have an open hand in order for anything to be put in it so you have to be open to receiving and this is having to put yourself in new spaces of thinking and doing i also have the eight of pentacles here aries so the spirit is saying it's time to get to work especially when it comes to your creative endeavors your creative ideas if you have been slacking if you have been taking your time in terms of getting onto a project is i'm not saying it's crunch time but it, it slightly is because your spirit guys keep putting it in your face that it's time for you guys to put that idea out there and look we have the ace of swords and also the crone of wands so yes spirit is also saying if you've been wanting to work on parts of yourself your shadow side uh your trauma if you're wanting to work on maybe losing weight okay let's move that here if you've been looking to transform your life in any way it's a matter of you putting your mind to it and having the mental strength to do so and knowing that it's possible okay uh, another message that I'm picking up on picking up here excuse me <laughs> if I can talk if you've been in this avoidance energy avoiding dealing with your feelings your thoughts uh, having those tough conversations this is the time this is the time here to address it. If you guys have also been avoiding really dealing with your finances or getting real about that, it's time for you to get serious. All right, let's pull some more cards. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Okay, moving on. Is there something that you still dwell on that's not in your life? A person, a relationship that you had with a friend, lover let's let's back this up got cards falling and everything so is there something here that you have not allowed yourself to fully move on from this is an experience a relationship a person this could even be you having the strong urge to maybe move to a different state or you recently have done so and it's a need for you to not look back at what you quote unquote feel like you're missing out on all right, we have another card that flips. So we have dreams coming true. So right on the other side, Spirit is saying right on the other side of you moving to new territory is your dreams coming true, is the the possibility for you guys to move mountains in your life that you possibly felt like you couldn't move prior to you making certain sacrifices in your life. And that's another word that I'm hearing that's coming up here, sacrifice. So there's something here that's calling for you to uh, step into the space of allowing yourself to move beyond things that just aren't good for you and sacrificing it in the process of stepping into this new life, stepping into this new shift. 
All right, Aries. We have well-deserved reward. Hmm. So spirit is also saying, where have you guys been really lazy and then expecting more results than what you've been putting in? If this has been the case, if you've been beating yourself down about, oh my gosh, I, ha I haven't seen the progress that I want to see. I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing that. Well, ask yourself, reflect. Have you been showing up? Have you been consistent in showing up? And where can you get more serious about that? I think that the bulk of this reading is about showing up for yourself, self-worth wise, uh, in terms of finances as well. And also just being in open openness and awareness of the opportunities that are just waiting for you. All right. Somebody here is also not deserving of your time, your energy, and stop giving them the belief that they are deserving of your time and your energy. All right. We also have sadness and isolation. Okay. So yes, this is a need for you to get out of your head. The mopey, sad Aries that you were at one point, you could have even been suffering with seasonal depression or just depression in general. Spirit is definitely screaming that it's time for you to create that happiness for yourself. I believe I said this for another Zodiac sign. And I also said this on Twitter. All right. Follow me at mystical crystal. If you like Twitter anyways. Um, shameless plug. So I said on Twitter, happiness is a choice and it is. You are the only person that can create happiness in your life. There is going to be circumstances where everything is not 100% perfect, but where can you draw yourself out of focusing on the bad or making the bad just a, how do I say this? Like assuming that the bad is all that is important, or I don't know how else I could put that into words, but this is making sure that you create happiness irregardless of what's happening around you, whether you have a whole bunch of money, whether you're, you know, going on trips every single week or having, you know, like making sure that you're creating your own sense of happiness outside of the world itself and the happiness that may come from materialistic things or outside things. But anywho, moving on from that, let's pull some cards from here. So Aries... What is the message for my Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Okay, that one just flipped out. So honor your sensitivities. Your sensitivities are a gift. Be proud of who you are. Put your hand over your heart and inwardly say, I embrace my loving heart. So this is embracing the fact that you're empath. This is embracing the fact that you're somebody who is kind, who is sweet, who is giving. But put boundaries around who you give that side to who you allow to access that side of you because this could, you know, taint that or this is just you needing to put those boundaries in place for your own personal sake. And then let's put one more. It says, watch for the cosmic wink. Magic comes when spirit winks at us. Stay aware of synch synchronicities, excuse me, that provide unexpected answers. Positive forces are always at play in your life. So yes, this is recognizing that your spirit guides are constantly speaking to you via numbers, music, uh, downloads that you have, dreams. So pay attention. And I was getting that sense as well that your spirit guides have already been in tune with you guys. It's just the point of you needing to listen and step up to the occasion. So I wish you the best of luck, Aries. If you want a personal, check out the information below and I will see you later.